Hello, uh, I'm Phil Earl. I am the author of uh, While the Storm Rages. So I thought I would read you a short extract from While the Storm Rages. But instead of reading you page one, I thought I would read you something from about halfway through when there is some exciting stuff going on. So Noah has stolen his dad's boat. He's filled it with animals. They're sailing it down the Thames. But the only problem is his dad's boat is a bit rubbish. And after about a day and a half, it overheats. And a few hours later, it actually sets on fire. Flames are erupting everywhere from below the deck. So Noah quickly has to sail it to the edge of the riverbank and get all the animals off. And as he stands on the riverbank with his two friends, Clem and Big Cole, they have to watch his dad's boat burn. But then something awful happens. Noah realizes that there is still one animal on board a 20 foot python in a sack that belongs to his friend well kind of his friend he's a bit of a bully called big cole who stood right next to him delilah the python is in the sack on the deck as the boat burns around her and noah being noah makes the decision that he's going to run back on board to save that snake and this is what happens next at that moment Surrounded by fire and smoke and the remains of his dad's beloved boat, Noah wondered if his, if his impetuousness had finally caught up with him. The power of the flame seemed to be shriveling his skin and no matter which way he moved, it worsened. The smoke, too, was thick and acrid, making him hack so hard that he thought his lungs would burst. Delilah, he yelled, though he had no idea why, the snake was hardly likely to call back. In fact, he only found the sack by accident, tripping over it as he groped instinctively. As his feet made contact, he felt the lump inside kick back. Was she trying to bite him? The next problem was how to get both the sack and himself off the boat. The flames were incessant now, so high and vicious that Noah had no idea which way the gangplank lay. It was fruitless. All he knew was that he was surrounded, and the only thing he could do was take a guess and hope for the best. As he tried to lift the sack, he realised the next of his problems. It was too heavy. He tried again, and again, and again, but whilst he might have raised the sack past his knees, he simply couldn't get the leverage needed to hoist it onto his back. Once more, he thought, one more try. But as he strained, a new flame erupted from below deck, throwing Noah onto his front and onto the sack and causing Delilah to hiss through the Hessian. Noah screamed, he couldn't help it. How long did he have? It wouldn't be long, seconds maybe. So if he was gonna do this, it had to be now, now. He pulled himself to his feet and planted them either side of the sack. Where the idea had come from, he'd no clue. But then again, he had seen athletes do it on the cinema newsreel. The Scottish hammer throwers, veins practically exploding from their necks as they cast a lump of metal further than was humanly possible. He didn't even have to throw the sack that far. He could do this, he had to. So with every bit of strength he had, he gripped the sack and ignoring the flames and sparks nipping and biting at his skin, he hauled it to shin level and he started to spin. It was not easy. He was tired and dizzy and flustered, and there was precious little space on deck that wasn't already alight. His lungs burnt, as did his skin, but he didn't stop, he couldn't. All he could do was build every bit of momentum he had until dervish-like, he spun so hard that his arms and the sack were now at a right angle to his body. He'd no idea if he had enough momentum. Not to mention strength left in his body to do what he needed to do. He had no idea if Delilah could possibly survive the shock. But he couldn't think about that. He was simply giving the animal the best chance of survival that he could. So this was it. The moment. Do or die. So with one final spin and a cry that rumbled deep from the depths of him, Noah let go. And the sack and Delilah went flying and if you want to know what happens next you got to read on so that's it thank you very much thank you for letting me be part of your world book day book club i'm absolutely chuffed to bits i really hope uh, that there's something in this book that you'll find to love and if there isn't something in this book i promise you there will be something in another book that will excite you and will open that door to reading if you're interested 
in reading an, an extract from while the storm rages you can follow it this link online to the world book day website and you can read that at your heart's content so keep reading and uh, thanks for having me i'll see you soon